Today's topic is quadratic equations. Before we could start with quadratic equations, it is important to precisely understand what a quadratic equation is. In this video, we will look at the definition of a quadratic equation and try to understand how does it look visually. ax square plus bx plus c equals 0. Definition a quadratic equation in x is of the form ax square plus bx plus c equals 0 for real numbers a, b and c. This form is called as a standard form of a quadratic equation. The word quadratic comes from quadratus which means square in Latin. Note the condition that a is not equal to 0 makes sense or else the equation will not have a variable in second degree. Now let's move on to some terminologies associated with degrees. When the degree is 1, linear equation. When the degree is 2, quadratic equation. When the degree is 3, cubic equation. When the degree is 4, biquadratic or quadratic equation. Now let's start by recognizing some quadratic equations. Is that 4x to the 4 plus 2x cubed plus 6x squared plus 8 equals 0 a quadratic equation? No, it is not. Certainly, the degree of the variable exceeds 2. Now, let's look at another example. Is root 3x square a quadratic equation? Yes, it is. It doesn't matter whether the coefficients are rational or irrational. However, they should be real. Now, let's look at another example. 3x plus 4 upon x square equals 6. Is that a quadratic equation? To f let's find out. To find the solution for this equation, we first need to make some simple algebraic manipulations. Let's multiply both sides of this equation by x squared. We get 3x cubed plus 4 equals 6x squared. This is clearly not a quadratic equation because of the 3 in the index. Let us spend a few moments thinking about the degree of an equation. Consider this equation x equals 3. It asks for a real value of x that will make it equal to 3. Of course, 3 is equal to 3 and therefore we say that the solution to this equation is 3. We note that the power that is the index of this equation was 1 and therefore there was one solution. Now consider this, x square equals 4. Let us ask to ourselves, what values can x take such that we square it, it becomes 4. Ah, 2 certainly because 2 square is 4. But notice the index here, it's 2. We must expect another solution to this equation since the degree of the equation tells us the number of solution to the equation. Can you find 1? If we take minus 2 and then square it, it also gives us 4. Hence the two solutions are minus 2 and plus 2. Likewise the pattern holds true for cubic, biquadratic or quartic and higher degrees. Why you wonder? We will answer that soon. By the way, the solutions to a quadratic equation are popularly known as roots of a quadratic equation. The term equation refers to equality. Now let y equal to x squared. Let's try to see how its graph might look like. For x equals to 1, y will be 1. For x equal to 2, y will be 4. For x equal to minus 1, y will be 1 again. For x equals to minus 2, y will be 4 again. Do you see a pattern? For every positive x, the y value is the same for its negative counterpart as well. Also, there will be no negative y as we should expect. Now let's connect these dots. This type of symmetrical curve is called as a parabola. Throughout this video series, we will try to understand quadratic equations from a graphical perspective so that we actually understand what is happening. In the next video, we will look at completing the square and formula method. So guys, please stay tuned. Subscribe T3.